basis of this is is before the Europeans brought any of these stone tools, I mean, they didn't have any way of cutting wood. They had these sharp rocks, yeah. of course, but you can't cut wood with a sharp rock. And it's going to break. So what they do, they get hot coals from their fire, and wherever they wanted to start working, that's where they put those coals. And those coals actually break that wood down where they can take their stone tools and chip it out. And basically it's just a back and forth deal. Every time you make a pass, it gets a little deeper. You're really just trying to control where it's burning at. It's, it's really the process behind it. And like I said, it, you got full of water yesterday and it's not wanting to do anything. You keep moving. Keep moving these coals. This lava actually consume itself. It's actually making charcoal the whole time that you're moving. The biggest biggest thing is just controlling where it burns at. How long does the process take probably? If I were at home and really watching what I was doing, right. I could do one in about a week. In a week? Yeah. Pretty close. How how large typically? Well, one reason I don't bring one that's the actual yeah it's, right. It's hard to haul a 24 foot log. Right. The ones, <laughs> I, ones I've seen are basically not a whole lot wider than this. The ones that's been found down around South Alabama and stuff. Okay. They're not a whole lot wider. So they're real about, narrow then, huh? Narrow, but about, about twice as long. Okay. You're looking at a. This is 12 foot. You're looking at, on average, 24 foot. Okay. So, in, uh, sitting down in it, though, you're mainly standing, right? I'm pretty sure Cause most you, of them, they would stand in. Because it's a little too narrow to sit in. Right, got to, yeah. yeah. You've seen the people in Louisiana in the p road with the pole. Mm -hmm. I think basically it was the same concept. Okay. Pretty much. Uh, and they could have kneeled down in them and, and paddled, but... Or just sitting in them and paddling, I don't think right. they did too much of that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see how they could have. Mm -hmm. And it's this one. Man? Did you sit on top of it? No, ma'am. I said I thought they would stand in it. A stand. Yes, ma'am. With, okay. with a long pole and yeah, just pole themselves along. Yeah. Oh. What, what a lot of people. I mean, today don't realize that these rivers, say 200 years ago, didn't look anything like they look now. They were basically big, shallow creeks. They wasn't deep. I mean, they had deep spots in them, but overall they were shallow. I mean, they they, they wasn't dammed up or anything. They were just fast flowing, big creeks is what they were. Sometimes they had to get out and pick up the canoe and move it because well, yeah. it's a little too shallow in some areas. Yeah. You get down to where, where I'm from, down on the lower Alabama River, and the old, old folks say in the summertime when the water got low, you could walk across it. It's just, mm -hmm. they've dredged them and dammed them up, and you know. Right. It was a whole different world back then than what it is now, yeah. basically. Mm -hmm.